Welcome to the wonderful world of blood donation. Around the world, giving blood is seen as a symbol of generosity, one of the noblest acts in modern society. But the reality is different altogether. Healthcare is the perfect money-making industry. Our willingness to pay for available therapies, basically, especially for our loved ones, knows no bounds. At the heart of this business, plasma, a yellow liquid rich in proteins. It's the main component of blood. It's more expensive than oil. C'est l'exploitation de l'homme par l'homme. Le terme qui est utilisé par certains, c'est le nouveau cannibalisme. Est-ce qu'on accepte au prix d'un marchandage ce système qui permet à un individu riche de profiter du pauvre? You know, I'm like a cow. I'm giving you a domination. It almost killed me, so I don't want to do that no more. You know, it is. We decided to explore a little-known area within the health industry the blood trade. Our investigation took us to France, Germany, and the U.S. They don't like us to interview their donors. Yeah, man, you know why? They doing something they ain't doing right. They need to stop it. Public want to know. Today, Carlos is donating blood. Despite his busy job, he's a regular blood donor at the Red Cross Center in Lausanne. Carlos sees his act as a sign of commitment to the community. More than 100 million donations are collected each year worldwide. In 2015, the Swiss Red Cross registered 311,000 donations. The figure diminishes each year and they're constantly seeking new donors. Their message is clear, giving blood saves lives. C'est important pour moi de venir euh, parce que je sais que je peux aider des malades. C'est vraiment le, le point important pour moi. C'est ma façon de pouvoir aider des gens. Je trouve que c'est quand même quelque chose de, de beau de pouvoir donner quelque chose, en tout cas qui est une partie de soi-même. Je vous mets à 16 heures et puis ben vous venez quand vous pouvez, il n'y a pas de souci. Blood is a quite peculiar juice, said Faust's devil with glee, but he's not the only one to be interested. Health is also an industry and blood donations are subject to the laws of the market. Voilà, ça coule bien. C'est tout beau. Before giving blood, these Swiss donors must complete a medical questionnaire and give their informed consent. In particular, there is one line at the end of the form, a sentence in small letters. I am aware that some components of my donation may be used for the production of drugs. Only a few donors read this line, though it's crucial. In reality, most of the donated blood is sold to private companies, something the Red Cross doesn't advertise. We erhalten etwa 320.000 Blutspenden pro Jahr. Das sind Vollblutspenden, das heißt, in diesen Blutspenden sind natürlich alle Bestandteile drin, auch das Plasma. Okay, und was machen Sie mit Blutplasma? Im Gegensatz zu den anderen Blutbestandteilen ist es beim Plasma so, dass nur etwa 20 Prozent dieser Menge direkt in den Spitälern gebraucht werden. In den Spitälern gebraucht heißt für Patienten, die einen großen Blutverlust haben und diesen, äh, dieses Volumen ersetzt halten müssen. Der restliche Anteil, das sind fast 80 Prozent, geht in die sogenannte äh, Fraktionier. Industrie, das sind Firmen, die daraus stabile Blutprodukte und Medikamente herstellen. The plasma fractionation industry. These are the pharmaceutical companies that buy 80,000 liters of plasma from the Red Cross each year. The humanitarian institution makes nearly 10 million Swiss francs from this sale. Are the donors aware of it? Qu'est-ce que vous savez sur ce que va devenir le sang que vous venez de donner? Bien, je dois dire que je suis plutôt innocent par rapport à ça. Euh, je me renseigne pas énormément par rapport à ce genre de, de choses. Euh, quand j'entends je, le mot don du sang, 
eh bien, c'est le fait que je vais donner de mon sang. Et puis après, ce que ce sang va devenir, eh bien, j'ose espérer qu'il soit utilisé dans les hôpitaux qui sont pas très loin de chez nous. Euh, donc c'est un peu l'image que j'ai, moi, du don du sang. C'est une image un peu innocente. First discovery, the majority of the donor's blood is sold to pharmaceutical industries. The industry is so interested in Carlos's blood for a specific reason. Its liquid part, called plasma, contains sought-after proteins. They are used to make very expensive and profitable drugs. Who are the players behind this industry? We decided to track the plasma trade. Welcome to CSL Plasma. Typically, 57% of our blood volume is made up of plasma. Plasma is a strong colored liquid portion of the whole blood that transports water and nutrients to all cells in the body. It is composed of approximately 90% water and 10% protein. Plasma also the plasma industry is huge and a handful of companies share the world market. Baxter in the USA, CSL Bearing in Australia, Gerfels in Spain, and the company Octopharma in Switzerland, which we discover through these promotional films. Octopharma's raw material is produced by the perfect bioreactor, developed over millions of years of evolution, the human body. For these companies, plasma is nothing but a raw material, and very lucrative too. The professional term is fractionation, the name of the procedure that transforms donors' plasma into drugs. To do this, they collect, freeze and mix thousands of liters of human plasma. These companies control a market which is worth $17 billion and growing steadily. Wolfgang Marger, the president and co-founder of Octopharma, is a very discreet person. Forbes estimates his fortune at six billion dollars. This is one of his very rare public appearances. How do you see the future developing? These products are life-saving drugs and they will be required for some patient groups as a lifelong therapy. And presumably they're covered by most insurance yes, companies. Yes, they have to be as they're very expensive. But that is also the other part of the, of the, same, of the same coin. There are many countries who simply cannot afford to provide this kind of level of treatment to their population, yet at least. And it sounds easy when you say, well, plasma should be available enough. You just go to your population, your country, you collect the plasma, and then you will be in good shape and you make those products. It's not the case. <laughs> 